this video, we'll look at how to solve multi-step inequalities. Number one that we're going to look at says n divided by negative 2 plus 11 is greater than 12. Okay, so we're going to solve this by subtracting 11 from both sides. And now we have n divided by negative 2 is greater than 1. And now we need to multiply both sides by negative 2. So remember when working with inequalities, when you multiply or divide by a negative, you need to flip that inequality symbol. So we're left with n is less than negative 2. All right, so we'll switch up our color here. And let's shade on our number line. So open circle on negative 2. And we're going to shade to the left. All right, number 2. 5x minus 12 is less than or equal to 3x minus 4. So we have variables on both sides here. Um, but let's just use inverse operations to get the variable by itself. So let's go ahead and add 12 to both sides. And we're left with 5x is less than or equal to 3x plus 8. Subtract 3x from both sides. We get 2x is uh, less than or equal to 8. And lastly, we divide by 2 to end up with x is less than or equal to 4. So less than or equal, close circle on 4, and we're going to shade to the left. All right, number 3. 2 times a quantity of k minus 5, so we're going to use distributive property over here, is less than 2k plus 5. So let's distribute. We get 2k minus 10 is less than 2k plus 5. So here let's go ahead and subtract 2k because you notice this is just going to eliminate our variable term. So when this happens, we need to evaluate the numbers we have left. So we need to ask ourselves, is negative 10 less than 5? And we would say yes, right? That is a true statement. So since that is true, we would say we have infinitely many solutions. So on our number line, we would just shade the entire number line all of our possible solutions we will shade. All right, number four. We have negative four times a quantity of uh, 3x minus one is greater than negative 12x plus five. So once again, distribute over here, negative 12x plus four is greater than negative 12x plus five. When we go to add our x terms or combine them, they both cancel. So now we have four is greater than five. So we'll evaluate this. Is 4 greater than 5? No, it is not. So we would say there is no solution. And since there's no solution, we do not shade anywhere on our number line. We leave it completely blank. And that's how we solve multi-step inequalities.